Okay, layer number one is the vitamin C enzyme solution. And you can see we passed the solution around. This is a very um, thick aloe vera solution. She's applying it in a circular motion. So she applies it with a large swab. She applies it for one minute, and then she's going to massage for one minute. And that's layer number one. So that the enzymes are acting as little Pac-Man, and they're already starting to eat up the dead skin layers. The vitamin C and the antioxidants are penetrating as an anti-inflammatory. And you can see that she gets right up to the lash line. She goes on the orbital rim of the eye. She works all the way into the lip area. And this is a really terrific candidate for this peel. She's, um, she has rosacea skin. She has a moderate level of inflammation. So this is a great peel to see immediate results. So this is layer number one. Layer number two, then we use the total resurfacing mask. And this is a blend of glycolic, lactic, and salicylic with the microdermabrasion crystals. So this now uses the AHA as an additional exfoliator. <coughs> to start even removing that stratum cornea further and beginning an exfoliation process for the layer number three. Layer number three, again, is the vitamin C. So we put this right on top of one another. She works in a circular motion. And she should feel some activity right now on a scale of one to 10, about a three. What are you feeling? One to a 10. She's at about a five. Because what are we doing? We're driving that glycolic salicylic and um, lactic acid deeper to in, her, in the skin, so she's feeling the activity level in the lower layers of the skin. But when we put the last layer, which is the vitamin C enzyme mask, she's gonna feel a cool reduction to the skin. So the premise and the concept behind this peel is anti-inflammatory, super, super hydrating, very quickly. You can already see a decreased inflammation in her skin, much more clarity in her skin. And you rinse with these solutions until the client feels zero. If that means you have to, quote, neutralize for five minutes, five minutes. If it's seven minutes, seven minutes. There's not a time frame for neutralization. It's what the client feels. So if the client still feels activity with this particular treatment, you need to continue to neutralize with the sponges and cool water till your patient feels zero. No activity was zero. Next step is the enhance. We apply two drops of 25% hyaluronic acid. This is really a beautiful step to plumping up the skin and instantly adding hydration. Feels like a drink of water for the skin. The next step is the Vital C Serum. And we know this is a 15% blend of three types of vitamin C, antioxidants, polypeptides, green tea, wonderful botanicals to also soothe the skin. Next is the protection, well the eye, the eye recovery gel. So in this particular treatment, we utilize all of the orange products in the Vital C line. So going back to our initial process of how do we follow our program, her main indication was rosacea. So her home care products are going to be the orange products, and the treatment's going to be the vitamin C peel, utilizing all the orange products. And last is the uh, SPF Organic 30. And not only does this uh, occlude her from any sun damage, but because it's the you know using a zinc oxide, zinc oxide is also very anti-inflammatory to bring down the redness. So it's much better to use a physical block after any sort of peel than a chemical block. I've seen in the past many chemical sunscreens used, and it can also reignite and re-encourage that peel because you've used a chemical and now you're applying another chemical, but that's not the case with the image.